Hi, it's Dr. Nat and I'm here with Carol, the one and only, the amazing entrepreneur. And she's going to talk to us a little bit about what it is to be a female entrepreneur. Yes, yeah, so Dr. Natalie, thanks for letting me rant and rave here for a few minutes. So we just had a conversation about my book cover for The Entrepreneur Equation and my publisher had a picture of me on the cover. And when they took it out to the buyers, the buyers came back from the major stores, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, all the big names, and said, we're very sorry she's too attractive to be taken seriously what? as a businesswoman. Too attractive? Like, really? And I, I just felt that that was such No, okay, an... so stop, because didn't you raise like a billion dollars? <laughs> right, so I've raised a billion dollars in capital. But I've you're done... too cute to be on the cover right. of a book. And, and I just felt like you would never say this to a man. You would never say, hey, Joe, I'm sorry, you're too good looking, you're too handsome. And some please ugly up for your book cover. <laughs> so I really wanted to take a stand. You know, at that moment, the second they said that, once you tell me no, don't do something, then I'm absolutely going to do it. And I think it's so important that we teach young women a that you don't have to choose between being smart and you know feminine and attractive, but also that you know that shouldn't even be a consideration. The reality is we're talking business and I've got the credibility to back it up. So why is what I look like have anything to do with anything? So instead of telling your daughters, your nieces, young girls that you're pretty, tell them that they're pretty smart. Tell them that they're pretty amazing. <laughs> tell like them that. that they're you know, pretty awesome and stop focusing so much on what we look like because the reality is, as we all know, we all get older and that is something that is going to diminish over time. So we should not be putting values on ourselves saying that we're going to peak at 25 or 30 or 35. That's Ageism totally, is terrible. It's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. We want to cultivate the values within ourselves that are going to increase over time. So smarts and wisdom and all these fantastic fantastic things that we bring to the table you know what we look at, like on the outside is you know just the packaging yeah it's yeah. really interesting and I love 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 that you have a doll Yes. So when we got the feedback from the publishers and, and I was so, or excuse me, the buyers through the publisher about um, what they had said, I had created from my client a Carol Roth Entrepreneur Equation fashion doll with the small yes. bust to be anatomically correct. And um, <laughs> Unlike you know, I wanted other to put dolls it out. we know of. Yeah, so I wanted to put it out there and say, look, you know, yes, you can be fun and sassy and still be girly and uh, and a doll and still be a businesswoman. So it's the first, uh, I guess I'm the first business strategist to have my own fashion doll and hopefully many others will follow suit. God, that would yeah. be so cool. I know <laughs> so many amazing women that should be embodied in a doll. Yes. And their stories told. And can girls, where can we get those dolls? Um, if you go to carolroth.com, um, there's a little thing that says book, click on book, and it'll take you to the book site, and then there's a thing about the doll there. All right, great. Yes. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. You're welcome.